Hello, and thank you for joining the webinar today. We're going to be discussing how RFID technologies can help grow revenue and profit in your business. So for our agenda, we're going to cover quickly the background on radio frequency identification, or RFID, the benefits that it presents, look at a few case studies for wholesale distribution and manufacturing companies, and then we're going to examine the return on investment that a lot of companies receive, and then also show you a, a fully integrated RFID software for QuickBooks. Before we get started here, my name is Jeff White. I'm the Managing Director of the Activity Group. And along with me today is Israel Rodriguez. And also we have a number of other technical folks at our organization. We have a, a vast background um, in manufacturing, supply chain, uh, finance, healthcare, and retail operations. Um, in addition to that, it's uh, we were deep in technology, but also in operational improvement and uh, in processes. So what is RFID? This screen here is rather busy, but there are four items that we'd like to take a look at. In 1948, there was a discovery that if radio waves were bounced off a certain type of material, information that's different than what was contained in the radio wave could be bounced back and received. From that, the first commercial application of RFID was with cars using RFID tags on windshields for vehicles going through toll gates on toll roads. In 2003, there are some standards that were finally put in place around RFID and the tags and the way the tags are made and the way that they, they work. And then in 2005, 10 years ago, Walmart issued a mandate where all of their suppliers had to put RFID tags on products. So how does RFID work? This is a, uh, it is an oversimplified diagram here, but it's applicable for what we're, we're dealing with. An RFID tag, which is kind of like a peel and stick label, gets attached to cases of products or items that are manufactured, or even individual items in some cases, such as uh, clothing in, uh, in, in apparel markets and so on. That, those tags then are accessed by an antenna, which is connected to a reader. What this does is the antenna sends out a radio signal, the tag sends back unique identifying information, and that then ties to the computer systems and over into the inventory, in our case, uh, with QuickBooks. So I mentioned before about Walmart. You know, in 2005, they adopted this RFID standard and, and required that all their suppliers put it on case goods that were coming into their distribution centers. This really was an enabler for them, and it, uh, it helped, um, helped modernize and also create a lot of op optimization within their uh, supply chain. The mid-size companies and enterprise uh, type businesses over the, over the past 10 years, they've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions of dollars into customized RFID technologies, and they've received significant benefits from that. But until now, because of this high cost, these RFID solutions, they've been out of reach for most of the small and medium-sized businesses. Because for in, until, the, until this last year, typical RFID implementation was well over $200,000. However, there's been a breakthrough. There's a fully integrated RFID software for QuickBooks, and the benefits can be realized. Same benefits like what are realized in the larger businesses can now be realized at a cost of about 90% less. RFID is, has been identified as one of the top disruptive technologies in businesses, and that was uh, identified by McKinsey Consulting. And really, it's, uh, this disruptor occurs because it connects the physical items in inventory or in a manufacturing process to the digital world. So what does that really mean? Well, the physical world on the left, you know, the warehouse could contain X quantity of any item. On the right, in the digital world, the online systems, inventory may show a Y quantity, a difference. It could be quite a bit of, of, a, of difference between what's in the physical world and the digital world. And typically, even with barcoding, the accuracy of inventory, and this has been found by industry research, is that uh, typically 60, 65% accurate. And that's caused just due to poor internal controls, um, inaccurate counts, lost items, shrinkage, and so on. So it creates this gap between that. But with RFID, it brings these together. As you can see on the left and right, um, equal quantities, X. And so this brings it together, closes that gap to 98% inventory accuracy across industries. Now, some people may think, okay, well, we have barcoding. Why don't we just use that? Well, barcodes, um, as I just mentioned, even with it, it, there's still opportunity for inaccuracy and errors. Barcoding is typically not unique to any individual item. It's, uh, it's typical, typically a, like UPC code. It's the same code on all the products. 
with RFID, there's no line of sight requirement. Um, they don't have to, people don't have to turn the box around to scan the code. It's purely radio frequency. Uh, multiple items can be scanned at one time. A box of you know, a dozen different products can be passed in front of an RFID antenna and then scanned immediately. As far as sterilization, identification, uh, every RFID tag has its own unique identifier. So items that, that are serialized or, or tracked based upon customized manufacturing and those kinds of things, it's, it's all uh, uniquely identified. So there are numerous advantages for RFID. In terms of benefits of RFID, a lot of people don't realize it, but it's far beyond just the inventory management process. Um, due, to, due to inaccuracy and ineffective workflow, in inventory management can lead to, to problems in sales. For example, if a, an inside salesperson receives a call from a customer and they need you know, four cases of, of widgets, they take the, they look online, shows that they have it on the online system, then they, uh, they take the order, pass the sales order back to the, to the staff to, for fulfillment and shipping. They, uh, they realize that, nope, they don't have it. They'll be back talking with the salesperson. Um, informing them that they really don't you know there's a problem with the counts, so then the uh, the salesperson has to call back the has to call back the uh, the customer, essentially ask for forgiveness, um, ask if they can wait you know until they get fulfillment. It could be you know days or weeks later. The customer could uh, say no, need to go off and find it somewhere else, and so it uh, it's really a problem with retaining you know the business, retaining the customers. The other flip the flip side of that is that. If inventory counts are inaccurate and it's showing zero stock on hand or even a negative number on the on the online system and there is stock available, the salesperson would be looking online and showing a zero count when somebody calls to place an order, um, they may not be able to to obtain the sale at that point or miss out on that sale when stock was really on hand. So really what this does is at the end of the day, it, it increases the customer lifetime value. And this is a, a business concept around uh, over over several years, what is the total value? What is the revenue value and what's that profit value of, of retaining that customer? And so RFID can help retain customers and keep those customers from sourcing from competitors. In the manufacturing realm, a lot of benefits around supply chain efficiencies, also dealing with warranty work related to out-of-stock substitutions. Also, manufacturers, unless they're strictly a, a custom manufacturer, they're building product, they're creating product, they're, they're, they're manufacturing finished goods and putting it into inventory for sale to sell to their customers. So they realize all the same benefits as wholesale and distribution companies, which, which are live tracking of inventory with RFID, real-time updates of inventory, and that helps improve the sales opportunities I was referring to just a minute ago. It reduces inventory buffers, um, increases the inventory turns. So that, that accuracy of 65% on average with barcoding versus 98% with RFID, the situation there is that many businesses to, to take care of the inaccuracies that they have in inventory, in their inventory management process, they just buy more inventory. So it ties up more capital. That money could be used for other opportunities in the business. RFID reduces order disputes. Uh, it can reduce order disputes upwards of about 95% through more accurate order filling and shipment. And also reduces inventory shrinkage by an average of 70%. All these numbers on this, on this screen here right now, these are not our numbers. These are numbers that come from various case studies from the RFID Journal, which is the industry's most prominent knowledge source. So now let's take a look at three case studies. Each one lays out the problem that the business is having, what, what the solution was, and the results. The first one is a specialty manufacturer, Dalmatian Fire Equipment. They're based in Colorado. They were a manufacturer of self-contained breathing equipment for firefighters, and they were having problems tracking expensive parts throughout their disassembly and reassembly or remanufacturing process. And validation of testing. Uh, this is a highly regulated business, and they have to validate that all the tests are performed. So it was very complex and time-consuming. And so what they did was they installed an RFID software for QuickBooks and positioned RFID scanners in key locations for testing and also in the shipping process. And the result was that the tracking, it allowed traceability of every part that was used and also record of a record of every test that was performed. And also 
they had zero errors after implementation of this, zero errors in shipment of parts or assemblies or subassemblies. Now here's the supply chain efficiency example. IKEA, which I think most of you probably know who this, what this business is about, they're a very large manufacturer of large warehouses and so on. This example I'm going to give you here would apply to even a small, uh, a small wholesale distribution business. So their main challenge was, was shipping and shipping mistakes. Even though they had barcoding and manual inspection of every order that got shipped out, two or three claims from each store monthly was coming back to their, their main warehouse and production, letting them know about these errors. And these claims, it cost the company, it cost them money uh, for additional shipments, shipping things back and forth to correct the mistakes. And also it put delays on uh, receipt of product in affected customer satisfaction. So what they did was they installed RFID scanners and antennas connected at the warehouse's four dock doors and then tested them based, you know, test the read rates, make sure things were reading accurately. They ran through a period of about two weeks on that. And the results were that by replacing barcodes with RFID technologies resulted in 100% accuracy in shipments to the stores. It also provided flexibility in how they pack up pallets and also get them shipped out. And it avoided the events that cause customer dissatisfaction. Now here's the third example, it's Lambton Doors. This is a manufacturer, a high-end manufacturer, residential and commercial wood doors. And they, on, at any, in any day, they have 800 to 1,000 doors in the manufacturing process. They manufacture about 4,000 doors a month. Uh, barcoding was inefficient for them and it was prone to errors. And also each job, because each job, was, it's a little bit custom that each job had 25 to 100 pages of paper actual printed paper moving through the manufacturing process along with the door. So what did they do? They installed RFID technologies and scanners at key locations to track the jobs throughout the manufacturing process. And instead of having the paper, they, they, they tied the, the scanning of doors with online systems so people could see the documentation on, on computers instead of following the, uh, following or having paper follow the jobs around. And the results were that that the real-time updates for every job in process that help uh, management of the, the organization in, uh, in, in job workflow, it reduced the timing as far as uh, the total timing for job completion, and at the end of the day, more jobs per month. And also, this eliminated printed paper for each job, saving about 190,000 pages per month, almost 200,000 pages per month, and about $7,600 each month in printed paper cost. Significant uh, return on investment for them. So let's talk a little bit more about that return on investment. In working with businesses to, to help make the decision or not whether to, to adopt and invest in RFID technologies, we've created a, a modeler which captures information specific to each business. Things, um, details related to sales and events, I mean the sales and finished product inventory, um, we take a look at that, ask various questions, types of sales are lost, fulfillment disputes, um, shrinkage, and so on. We gather that data. And if it's a manufacturing business, we gather information around that also. And so what this ends up demonstrating for a business owner or executive is the, the estimated return on investment. In this case, for this, this business and this example that we're dealing with, it was a 364% return on investment. And, uh, and when they're leasing equipment, that lease payment every month, it's paid back within eight days. That's an excellent, excellent return on investment. Um, anything for any business greater than 50% is a really good investment. And so most businesses that implement RFID, they, they experience a return on investment of 300%, 400% or more. And it's, it's really dependent on each business due to the complexity of the business, the type of workflow, the issues that you're having today. The, the level of technologies that you have in place and, and controls and so on. But in mo for most businesses, though, the, the return on investment is, is substantial. And so this is accomplished with an RFID software for QuickBooks. The product is called PassTrack. It's a product that we organizations implement and optimize their business with. It's fully integrated with QuickBooks, the, the versions of Pro, Premier, and Enterprise. There's no customization or software development required at all. 
implementation is, is quick. It gets configured in hours. And, um, and then with a couple of days of, of assistance and, and training, it, you're up and running with it. We do offer a complete turnkey implementation, which combines the software, RFID antennas, and training assistance. And to make it easy for implementation, we have, uh, we have various lease companies that we've identified that will lease the total package, the total turnkey implementation, with low monthly payments over three years with a $1 buyout. Here's an example of some of the screens that, that we have with, uh, with this RFID software for QuickBooks. In the background here is QuickBooks 2015, and in the front is our PassTrack RFID software main screen, and this is an example of item receipt. These screens kind of look like QuickBooks have been designed that way, but what this does is it's, uh, it's integrated with QuickBooks to pull out the data as necessary. In this example, it, uh, it has some widgets that they are receiving, and as they start scanning with RFID tags, it scans over here and it shows on the, on the right side. Additionally, serial numbers can be input right into this also, so if a business has the requirement to capture actual serial numbers of products, they can do it right here and it ties in. Also, the attachment of documents, like that example of that door company, um, PDF files can be attached to any item in here for uh, subsequent use. And when it comes time to ship out products, here's an example of, of fulfillment and pulling product, pulling stock, and then and then preparing it for shipment. And for this one line item here, there's a uh, an item that had two that were ordered. This person had grabbed three, scanned three of them. As you can see here, it creates a, there, there's a red X icon and then a message saying you know fulfillment quantity is too high. And so what this does is it it helps avoid sending out too many products, too few products, or the wrong products. So it adds a lot of quality into the process. And as I mentioned, the our turnkey implementation, our Optivity RFID solution for QuickBooks, it combines the, the PassTrack RFID software with the readers and also the antennas, implementation, and then process optimization for a couple of months afterwards after you go live with this. So just imagine that you had improved inventory accuracy, reduced shipping errors, increased sales, increased productivity. And if you're a manufacturer, tracking you know, from manufacturing to inventory to shipping, and also reduced inventory counts and audit costs. So if the features of RFID technologies and software look like it may be interesting for your business and something that help resolve a lot of the issues that you're currently having, the next step would be to conduct an RFID return on investment analysis. This is where you get back with the person that invited you to this webinar, and we would have a discussion around the your workflow, the type of inventory, the, the issues that you're having today, and try to identify the areas for oppor oppor or opportunities for, for improvement. And then we'd conduct a, a live demo of the software so you can see how this actually actually works and integrates with QuickBooks. And then we'll determine if RFID has the right workflow benefits for your business. So please get back with the person that invited you to this webinar, and then we can set up a time to, to chat. Again, my name is Jeff White, and if you'd like to contact us, you can send an email to inquiry at optivitygroup.com or reach us by phone at 805-380-7730.